and this is uh, dr ayuthi now today we are going to explain the express the function f of x equals to 1 for mod x less than or equals to 1 0 for mod x greater than 1 as a fourier integral hence evaluate here integral integral 0 to infinity sin lambda cos lambda x by lambda d lambda okay now we are going to solve this uh, problem of the function f of x by using fourier integral first of all given that uh, given function right here f of x equals to 1 mod x less than or equals to 1 that is minus 1 mod x means uh, minus 1 or plus 1 therefore minus 1 less less than x less than 1 here zero mod x greater than 1 that is minus infinity less than x less than minus 1 plus 1 less than x less than infinity now okay, here here the fourier integral of the function f of x is given by this is the fourier integral theorem f of x equals to 1 by pi integral 0 to infinity Minus infinity to plus infinity f of t cos lambda into t minus x dt d lambda. Substituting the value of f of x in equation one, we get what is the equation one? This is the equation one. Now substitute f of x equals to one by pi integral zero to infinity integral of minus one to one. cos lambda into t minus x dt d lambda okay now 1 by pi integral 0 to infinity this is sin lambda integrating means sin lambda of t minus x again lambda t minus lambda x with respect to the function means here t therefore lambda after integration substituting the limits minus 1 to 1 into d lambda therefore 1 by pi integral 0 to infinity now integrate this here now integrate this sin of lambda into 1 minus x by lambda minus sin of lambda into here integrating no substitute this limits in place of t okay oh first of all substitute upper limit next of all substitute lower limit in place of t into d lambda 1 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin lambda into 1 minus x minus of minus plus sin lambda into 1 plus x by lambda into d lambda sin of minus theta means minus sin theta therefore 1 by pi integral 0 to infinity here applying the formula sin of a minus b plus sin of a plus b means 2 sin of a plus b by 2 cos of a minus b by 2 2 sin of a 1 minus x plus b 1 plus x by 2 lambda means common here in these two terms into cos of a minus b lambda into here also lambda means common 1 minus x minus of 1 plus x that is minus 1 minus x by 2 here this is the formula 2 sin a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 okay on now 1 by pi into integral 0 to infinity 2 sin here minus x plus x gets cancels 2 lambda by 2 that is here right cos of here minus 1 plus 1 gets cancels minus 2x lambda by 2 by lambda into d lambda next of all here f of x equals to 2 by pi 
integral 0 to infinity sin lambda into cos of minus lambda x by lambda into d lambda. Therefore, f of x equals to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin lambda cos of minus theta means cos theta. Therefore, cos of minus lambda x cos lambda x by lambda into d lambda. Here, 2 by pi will get 2 transpose LHS pi by 2 into f of x equals to integral 0 to infinity sin lambda cos lambda x by lambda into d lambda. Therefore, integral 0 to infinity sin lambda cos lambda x by lambda d lambda equals to pi by 2 f of x. Hence, gets the required result of the given problem. Here, Fourier integral. Hence, evaluate this value here. What is the value? Pi by 2 f of x. Okay, oh, thank you.